is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're back with a brand new episode of my damn thoughts where we are going to cover wwe elite series 97 now i'm gonna be honest with you right up front i think that this series was kind of bland i felt like overall not a lot going on with the set i i think that a lot of this set is kind of skippable to be honest with you but i think we do have some highlights of the set and you guys know that my damn thoughts if you guys don't know what my damn thoughts is it's a video or episodic series here on the channel where we go through and we cover a WWE Elite Wave, an AEW Unrivaled, or a Matched Wave, and we dive into the details of the set. We rank the set from worst to best. We get into the best spots in the series. We get into the worst spots of the series, the highlights, the lowlights, all the in-between. We're going to cover it here today, man, but let's get into it. We start things off with my first thoughts of the series as a whole. I don't even remember the first time we saw it. I guess it was at WrestleMania Axis, or was it at San Diego Comic-Con? May have been San Diego Comic-Con, but anyways, my first, my first thoughts were meh. You know, I feel like that's been kind of a constant theme or at least the last couple waves just a mess set or maybe it's just because so many sets come at us so fast nowadays that it's hard to you know what i'm saying trying to trying to get a grip on all these things but my thoughts were meh you know I honestly kind of a boring set overall not one that's going to really pop off in your mind it's it's not going to just break the internet with some of these figures in this set so my first thoughts were meh it just was a mess set overall now we're going to get into the shelf warmers in the set now one thing about this set that's interesting is there's two women's figures usually you don't see that in one wave but in the shelf warmer section man and i didn't this is how like uh kind of boring the set was overall i didn't even review sheamus and ronda I, I i felt like the video like i don't know i felt like five people would probably watch the video so i didn't even do that video maybe i could do it for a patreon exclusive or something like that someday but we have ronda rousey she is going to be the shelf warmer in the set there's no freaking way any other figure is going to be the shelf warmer now you could say alexa bliss or something but no man I've seen Elite 82 Alexa Bliss show form. Nothing's going to beat this right here. This figure right here, first of all, it's like plain black with baddest written across the chest. You know what I mean? Her Elite 65 figure rotted on shelves, all right? Beings, this figure is a whole lot better than the Elite 65, but her Ultimate Edition also was not one that people wanted, so I can't even imagine what people are going to say about this figure. This figure will be a hardcore show former. I can see it from t t today, you know? And you know, going in, I bet a lot of people were wondering i wonder if mdt thinks that elite 97 is on par with the ultimate edition hell no not even close it just isn't i thought for sure that it would be it just does not have the same feel in the hand it does not feel as as crispy it doesn't feel fluent it does kind of it has a stiffness about it. It, it it's plain jane i don't really mind the gear it's just i know how people are with uh, you know like plain jane attires it doesn't have ultimate boots on it it has regular like basic slash elite boots they don't feel elite to me, but I think they are elite. They're just really, really black. But yeah, her legs are stiff. They don't feel like they are double jointed, and like that is nice. They have upper thigh rotation. Like it's like her hips are stiff, and I don't, I don't really know, man. This figure is gonna show form though. It just, it's, it's not a good one, man. It's not a good one, and there's no doubt about it. This is gonna be the show form instead. I will, if this one's the hot cake seller, that would blow my mind. It'd probably be the biggest just mind blow of all time. But that is what I feel about that. Now, as far as the hottest figure in the set. I think you have two different versions. I think it's going to be Chainsaw Charlie or Omos, but I went with Omos because I think a lot of kids are going to want this figure. I think a lot of adult collectors are going to want this guy. I think that it's a very solid figure overall. Feels good in the hand. Looks really good. I think it's a good formula. Very fluent overall. I think he's a character that a lot of people have been wanting for a while. And I know we got the basic version, but I've never seen his basic figure at retail. I know it. I know that basics are kind of hit or miss at retail, but this figure right here is really solid overall. Yeah, this, is, this one's going to be wanted, I think. So I think Omos is going to be the hottest figure in the set. I think that's easy to say. He will be the hottest figure in the set. As far as the Chase variant figure is concerned, we're getting into King Woods, if you guys were unaware. Xavier Woods or King Woods is the Chase variant. It is in maroon, is the Chase variant. Now, I haven't found an Elite Chase in a while in the wild, but I like the regular version in this case anyway. You guys know how I feel about the white gear. The white, black, and yellow looks really, really clean to me. I like it a whole lot better than the maroon version. Maybe when I get the maroon version in hand, I'll feel differently, but at this case, I like the white version better, and so I'm gonna, yeah, I, I think that's pretty solid, but he is the chase, you know? He is the chase, and they went with that new formula. I don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll see when the ranking comes around at the end of the video, but yeah, I just, uh, I don't know, man. The maroon version isn't as good, but he is the chase variant in the set. As far as best head sculpts are concerned, I had two different options for this one. This Seamus right here is really, really nice, and I thought they just reused the Elite 84 Seamus, but I love the way they did this, man. Look at this head sculpt. It is slightly different than the Elite 84 
64. I think it's either this head sculpt or it is the Omos. It's one of these two. I couldn't decide. It's probably Omos. I think that like the, the mouth over here on Seamus looks a bit off, but I do like the Seamus overall. I like the mask too. I know we didn't get to review this, but this, this cloth jacket and then this, uh, this mask that they give you and then the hat. It all fits really, really well on the figure. I'll show this later on, I guess, when we rank the figures. But this hat and mask combination on the Sheamus is really, really nice. So you got to give a kudos to Mattel on that one. But as far as best head, I think I went with Omos because it's really the only new one. I felt like Xavier Woods was oversized. Ronda Rousey's is the Ultimate Edition. Alexa Bliss's this is the Ultimate Edition. And I didn't want to do, you know, like a, a remade head sculpt. I tried to, you know, chalk it up to new head sculpts are the only ones eligible unless they're all repeats. So I tried to be fair there. Jesus Christ. Now, as far as the best articulation in the set is concerned, I went with Chainsaw Charlie. I think that this figure feels immaculate. I know it's got Dean Ambrose legs, but they're actually pretty poseable, and I like the way this figure feels a lot. He's got real buttery, smooth stuff going on here. I like it a lot. You know, the two women's figures aren't going to win the best articulation just because they're limited with their ab crunch, but this figure is actually really, really nice, and I know he's got the suspenders on there, but doesn't really hinder it that much. It feels a whole lot cleaner than other figures. It doesn't feel like it's going to break you know, when I say best articulation, it really means, like, not only can it move well, but it feels really good in the hand, and so that is what Chainsaw Charlie does. This figure really blew me away, man. Really excellent figure, and I have no ties to Chainsaw Charlie whatsoever, but this figure right here really blew me out of the water. I think that it's not as accurate as it could be, but I think overall, really, really fun figure, and I'll probably grab one or two more of these. If I see this at retail, I'm going to grab it again. I think it's that good, so if I'm, if I'm giving it the double up treatment, triple up treatment, yeah, this is uh, this is a really outstanding piece, and I think that uh, everybody should grab this. It, this is a beast right here, and it feels the best in hand. As far as the worst articulation, you really only have two options, but overall, I went with Alexa Bliss. Her double jointed arms are nice, but you guys know that women's ab crunches are non-existent. Like, this is an ab crunch right here, bro. That's not even, she's not even, like, bending. Like, look at that. She doesn't even have a forward ab crunch. You know what I mean? She also has basic boots right here that are really stiff right there. You don't get any ankle pivot or anything like that. So, I mean, it's not, like, atrocious, but it's definitely worth considering. The rest of the figures in the wave can do better posing and stuff, but it's not bad. It's it's more like a more articulated basic, if anything, but it's it's got double jointed arms. It's a nice piece. It's a very good figure. I actually like the Alexa Bliss a lot. It's just uh, you gotta call it spade a spade. It has the worst articulation in the set, so therefore, it's getting the worst articulation in the set. You know what I mean? Moving into the best accessory has to be Seamus's robe right here, man. Look at this piece right here. It's got a really like nice felt material going on in the brown. I think you could use this on so many different characters if you want wanted to. I mean, the, the the possibilities are endless. Feels really nice. You even got the collar right here on the robe jacket. I guess it's a robe or an entrance coat, but it just really feels nice. It fits the figure well, too, man. This is the kind of stuff that I want to see from Mattel every time. Don't give me rubber jackets, Brad. Give me a cloth goods t-shirt. Now, this is the Ronda Rousey jacket. This is like, reminds me of like those old Dragon Ball Z Jax figures that were rubber, and like, I think you could put the rubber piece over the side solid piece. This is what this reminds me of. So stretchy. I could tear this in half, bro. It is, uh, it is just very low quality in my opinion. It's got sculpt on it, but nobody cares. You know, it, it's garbage. This right here is high quality. This Seamus figure, he always has great figures. Always the most underrated figure in the set. Uh, Seamus, just, the formula's nice. The head sculpt's nice. The accessories are perfect. Great looking cloth jacket on here. He's just kind of boring, but at the end of the day, Seamus figures are some of the best you can find, man. I mean, that's just a fact, Jack. But, yeah, Seamus this has the best accessory in the set. I have no problem saying that. If you guys were wondering what I think about the worst head sculpt in the set just for shishes and gigs, it's this Chainsaw Charlie one. I mean, good God. I, I don't like it. It's it's not good, man. I, I don't even have to say anything else. Go watch the review on it. I'll, I, I Just rip it up, bro. It is it is abysmal. Alright, before we give our rating for this set and what I think overall this set, like out of 10, you know, I am going to rank this set from worst to best. So let's go ahead and wrap everything up and get into our ranking of the set, which will be from 6 to 1, and you guys should know the criteria for the ranking if you guys did not know. I need to make a graphic for this, to be honest with you, but criteria for the MDT ranking of any figure set we ever do. Always have to cover it, because I know some dumb bum in the comment section is going to be like, how is that figure? <laughs> Just because a figure comes in at number 6 and at the bottom of the ranking doesn't mean that it doesn't have any good qualities about it whatsoever, and that it's just the worst figure of all time, and that nobody should buy it, and it's just absolute garbage. And just because a figure comes in at number 1 does not mean that it is without any faults whatsoever. It's just God's greatest thing ever made, and it should be figure of the year. And this is my ranking, so go make your own ranking down in the comment section below. But anyways, man, let's start off with 
the number six figure, and it pains me to do this, but I think I have to. I think it is the way to go. But it's going to have to be Ronda Rousey, man. Ronda Rousey coming in at the number six spot. Honestly, just it just didn't live up to the hype. I thought it would be the very same as the Ultimate Edition, just repainted with a new to top torso. Wasn't the case. Uh, it just doesn't have the goods, you know. It doesn't have Ultimate Edition boots, which I know it's an Elite, but we've seen Ultimate Edition boots on multiple figures, so I think they could have swung if they wanted to. But it just, uh, it's very stiff. It's very plain. Same head sculpt. You know, uh, legs are stiff. Not my favorite gear of all time. Not terrible gear. I, you know, I think it gets kind of a bad rep, but yeah, it's number six, man. I could not put it any higher. It it just was very lousy. Lousy Ronda Rousey. Coming in at number five, this may shock some people, but I'm going with King Woods, man. I don't know what it is about this figure. I think it's like the baby thighs compared to everything else. Like, they gave him the Apollo torso, which I like. They did upgrade his arm size. He's got good shoulders. Head's massive, but I just don't know, man. It, it just doesn't feel quality in the hand, or it doesn't feel as good as I wanted. Kind of a loose, kind of a loose torso. The shoulder stuckness, you, you know how I feel about that. Head's a bit oversized. Just not my favorite of all time. It, it just, I, I'd rather have other figures in the set. I think that, you know, it's not a bad figure. I just, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it at this juncture. Comes in at number five. I love Xavier Woods, but he is the number five figure for me here. Coming in at number four, I went with Alexa Bliss. This is a very solid figure. I think that it's basically a updated elite. You know, I like some of the sculpts. I like the attire. Good head sculpt. Double jointed arms. Feels good in the hand. It's just, you know, it, it, it wasn't high enough. It wasn't quite good enough to surpass other figures in the set, but I would rather have this Alexa Bliss over these two right here. So that is kind of where I fall there with the Alexa Bliss figure coming in at number four. Coming in at number three, I am going with Sheamus. This Sheamus figure, you guys already heard me praise this figure. I mean, it's so good. It really, really is. So if you guys want to put this on, pretty sure you have to like come over the top right here and like hook this on too. Because I want you guys to see how good this looks once you, once you like put this on. Look how snug this fits. So if you can put this on here, you get your face mask on there, and then you take your hat accessory, put that on there, and then you could slide your hat accessory on there. I don't know, man. I just liked it a lot. Did that tear, or am I just tripping? It doesn't matter. Sheamus, very good coat, very good formula. Feels good in the hand. The Sheamus figures are some of the most underrated you'll ever see. So Sheamus comes in at number three. I have no problems putting him there. Love the coat. Love all those things. But the two most impressive in the set were easily Chainsaw Charlie and Omos. I thought that that was pretty just easy to see. But after a further review and taking a closer look at everything, the final ranking for this is going to be Chainsaw Charlie number two, and number one is going to be Omos, man. I think that the Chainsaw Charlie really blew me away. I think if it had better accuracies to certain things about Terry Funk and, you know, his body, I think it would have been more accurate, would have slid him up a little bit more. But the Omos figure is gargantuan. It is a beast, and it feels good in the hand. Looks like him, you know, he, he doesn't feel like he's gonna snap in half. He feels really quality, and so that is my ranking, man. Ronda Rousey, King Woods, Alexa Bliss, Sheamus, Chainsaw Charlie, and Omos wraps up our Elite 97 My Damn Thoughts episode, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you guys thought of this set overall. What do you think of it? Do you think it was crap? Do you think it was kind of boring? Do you think it was pretty good? I think it was kind of a boring set, honestly. All thoughts considered, thought it was a pretty boring set. But anyways, before we get out of here, man, let's get into a random shout out and then we will get the heck out of here. And for today's shout out, it's going to go to AFW Wrestling. I could have swore that you just reviewed the newest Brock Lesnar a week ago and now you're on a different series. And that is what I'm saying, man. I think tomorrow's video is going to be my discussion topic on this because it's just asinine how many figures we're getting in so quickly. It really, really is, but I thought that that was a great comment because really there's so much coming at us at a just rapid rate and I think we're, I think you're going to see some insane clearance at the end of this year at Target, at Walmart, especially at Target, but at Target, at Walmart, Walmart, ringside collectibles there's going to be like the black friday cyber monday sales that we're going to be seeing are going to be crazy i think so get ready for that but a huge shout out to afw for the wrestling for the wrestling for the comment i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next one have a blessed one see you next time you cross the line.